Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the what are the possible scenario of over pressurization in the tank, vessel or system. See, uh, like if you are working in a plant or whether you are in DCS or you are a process engineer, instrumentation engineer, maintenance engineer, if you ever think about the what are the possible reasons of the over pressurization in the tank, in the vessel, in the pump, in the compressor. So this video is for you. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the some possible scenarios. What are the possible reasons by which the over pressurization could be occur, right? So let's start the video and our first possible scenario could be blocked discharge or outlet what is the meaning of it it means that let's suppose if you have a one system okay and in that system what happens that your outlet is blocked or your outlet is closed okay due to some like you could say due to some malfunction or due to some reason okay and that reason you do not want okay for example closed outlet wall okay so at the outlet see if uh, if i talk about this column number one okay so you will see in the which amine there is one control wall and at the outlet of the sweet gas also there is one control wall right if this control wall is closed unadvertently what will happen it will build up the pressure okay if due to some malfunction this control wall is closed so obviously the pressure will be built up okay or if the line blocked okay it could be because of the deposition okay deposition of the debris is okay solid particles then also what will happen it will or it could lead to pressure build up right now i want to ask you one question if this gas line okay if like this is your tray right okay so if here the this wall is closed so obviously your pressure is going to build up if this which amine means this liquid control wall will be closed so what will happen could you let me in the comments box in that case what possibilities could be arise okay please let me in the comments box so this is the first reason okay by which your over pressurization could be occur right so now let's proceed to the another and the another is thermal expansion okay so what is the meaning of the thermal expansion thermal means your heat or you simply can say the fire expansion means let's suppose if uh, right now expansion means the volume could be increased okay if there is one like for example with respect in the case of the metal so the size increase due to expansion okay there is the thermal expansion and contraction i hope you have heard that word so we are talking about the liquid expansion right so heating of a liquid filled system without proper venting can cause the thermal expansion and because of that also the over pressurization could occur if in your system the the venting system is not proper right so uh, because of that also the over pressurization could be occur or let's suppose if at the outlet of the your vessel there is the psv okay for example let's suppose if there is one psv you have installed and that psv is oversized sorry undersized mm. at that case also the over pressurization will be built up or the pressure will be built up in excess manner okay sunlight external heat okay this scenario is little bit not that much uh, uh, what could I say the effective when I say sunlight okay not external fire external fire is considerable okay it is considered when we size the PSV it is also considered when we size the vessel so exposure to sunlight or nearby heat source can increase the temperature and pressure inside the tank so for temperature what we do obviously we do the insulation I hope you know about it okay the insulation protection we provide there are three types of the insulation mainly your one is cold insulation hot insulation and personal protection ins uh, insulation right 
okay so that is the one reason of the thermal expansion of the overpressurization then external fire okay i hope if you have ever size the psv so that fire case we consider in that case why because if let's suppose the overpressurization occurs in the your vessel so that psv should be sufficient to relieve that uh, pressure we can say right so external fire a fire near the vessel or system can cause rapid heating leading to overpressurization so in that case what we do there is let's suppose there is one psv right so so when we size that psv so we consider one diameter let's suppose this is the diameter right so whatever the equipment will come within that diameter okay and there is one psv so we will consider that fire case because let's suppose if this reboiler is uh, let's suppose if this there is the fire in that reboiler and because of that the uh, pressure could be increase of that system so in that case also we will consider the external fire or fire case during sizing of the psv okay then your chemical reactions okay let's suppose the exothermic reaction occurs okay what is the meaning of it if the exothermic reaction happens so obviously the like too much amount of the heat is evolved okay so that could also increase your pressure so an uncontrolled exothermic reaction within the vessel can rapidly increase the pressure i hope you know when we uh, like when the urea manufacture from the liquid ammonia and carbon dioxide there is a, a two reaction happen the first one is your exothermic then endothermic right let's assume that that reaction is uncontrolled means there is something happens so or some like the dcs operator didn't see okay and there is some reaction happens okay and that is in the ample amount and you did not like the your liquid is not flowing to the uh, to the downward direction or in the downstream direction so that that could be the reason to overpressurization right then your run away reaction a reaction that accelerates uncontrollably due to inadequate cooling or mixing that could be the another reason then overfilling okay overfilling means you are overfilling with liquid okay see in in this case let's suppose if this outlet is closed so what will happen the overfilling could be occur so overfilling a vessel beyond its capacity can lead to the pressure build up especially if there is no proper venting or pressure relief mechanism okay the another could they see there could be the so many so many reasons of the overfilling right uh, and the most of the time when your outlet is closed or blocked next is vaporization okay vaporization means obviously uh, like kind of boiling you can say so the boiling of liquid so heating a liquid to its boiling point can cause a vaporization okay and over pressurization if the vapor is not adequately vented okay let's suppose if in your system okay there is no vaporization occurs fine and suddenly what happens that your the liquid pressure goes below the vapor pressure at that temperature and boiling occurs so what will happen obviously vaporization will occur or the over like your system pressure could be increased okay and if due to some reason that could be xyz reason the vaporization occurs or the boiling occurs what will happen obviously your system pressure could be like going to be increased okay next could be the failure of pressure relief devices so what are the purpose of pressure relief devices see pressure relief devices are used during the mitigation process right see if this is your system it is over pressurized it is over pressurized due to any region so this psv prv will help your system to depressurize right now if this system this psv or this prd fail what will happen obviously the over pressure will be occur and it will go beyond that and beyond the limit like let's suppose if it goes beyond the limit or beyond the capacity of the the design capacity of the vessel so it could be burst up so psv failure so when the psv failure may fail to open due to blockage corrosion and mechanical issues
incorrect PSV sizing. Okay, that could be the also one reason I have already told you if your system is pressurized, let's suppose and your PSV is undersized. So it will not relieve the system. Okay, in a manner which that PSV should be. So what will happen that obviously the over pressurization could occur, right? Next could be your equipment malfunction. So instrumentation failure could be occur. For example, your controller, your pressure transmitter, let's suppose if they are showing the wrong reading, let's suppose your control wall is not working properly, that can lead to the pressure increase. It happens in our industry normally, okay? Like frequently I could say, okay? Control system failure, okay, if let's suppose your DCS fails or let's suppose your local control panel fails, so that could be the reason of the overpressurization, okay. Then your gas increase or generation means let's suppose if you inject the gas in an excess manner, so what could happen, obviously it can lead to the overpressurization in the system. Then your gas evolution means the chemical reaction or phase changes that generate gas can cause a pressure increase right next could be your gas blanketing or purging when we do the purging okay do you know why we do the purging if you know good if you don't know i have prepared one detailed video about it okay you can check it out that video I, i'll give the link in the description as well as in the comments box so the excess gas addition if you add excess gas so over pressurization could be occur you know the one thing when we do the purging or when we do like let's suppose if you are filling any system with the gas so initially its volume will not increase but suddenly its volume increase too much okay that's why this over pressurization could be occur right then the vacuum condition inverse over pressure you will have seen that there are so many times you will see the tank rapture okay why that rapture because of the vacuum condition what is the meaning of it it means that let's suppose if there is one system there is the vacuum you are building and suddenly you open the wall and your system comes in, in the contact with the atmospheric pressure so what will happen your tank your vessel will be raptured why because of the that pressure difference like within that your system there is the over pressure uh, vacuum is there and outside of that when you open that wall it is at the atmospheric pressure so your tank could be raptured right so the see here we can see the cooling of vapor so rapid cooling of vapor in a sealed vessel can create a vacuum potentially causing a vessel collapse then your pump out or condensation means removing gas or condensation of vapor without proper venting can lead to the under pressure or vacuum condition that region also happens many times okay and because of that your system damage your vessels or your equipment damage so many times right then inlet flow exceeding design capacity what is the meaning of it very simple meaning let's suppose your system is designed for the 20 cubic meter per hour and but now it is going 30 cubic meter per hour designed at this point and going here so what will happen obviously your system failure or your pump failure is that okay so pump failure means a pump delivering fluid into a vessel at a higher rate than it can handle may cause over pressure obviously it can then wrong flow rate setting it could be also one reason okay fine then incorrect operating condition this is the normally you can say the human error also we can say or if for example someone who is not experienced person so and he set some operating condition in that case case also it could happen it could happen at the dcs it could happen at the plant Okay, so please ensure that that is also very very important misalignment could be also the one reason okay and let's suppose if you do not know which wall you have to open or close in that case also the over pressurization could be occur then the adiabatic compression okay compression we know if if any system compress so pressure increases or volume decreases adiabatic means the q 
is zero means your heat addition or removal is zero so what will happen rapid compression of gas will definitely going to increase the pressure if if the proper venting is not there okay next is phase change okay if you are uh, let's suppose if your liquid change into the gas so when when there is a sudden change from liquid to gas due to depressurization or heating can cause a increase in pressure obviously then the solid to gas this process is called the sublimation okay if the sublimation of certain materials occurs so it can also lead to the pressure build up why because the gas is coming into the picture right so when the gas will be coming into the picture the pressure could be build up then there could be the human error see if you are not a skilled person so you must be skilled okay there should be the proper training if you do not know what to do how to do why to do please do not do if you will do uh, let's suppose if you operate any pump and you do not know how to operate if you operate that wall okay but you do not know how to operate that wall what is the purpose of that wall please do not do that ask your senior ask the dcs operator or anyone who is senior or having experience then you can eliminate this error or if you you if you undergo through the proper training then you can remove this human error right so these are the some possible reasons of the possible scenarios of the overpressurization could you let me know in the comments box if there are any other possible scenarios of the overpressurization in the system if yes please let me in the comments box please share your knowledge or experience so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you